Well, they came in about 6.30 on Monday evening, seven of them, five males, two females. They averaged from the age of 20 to 40. And uh, they were obviously mentally ill. Some of them were hallucinating. Some of them obviously had neurological disorders. They had many questions about how they would be treated in this hospital, asking about food, whether they would be fed, whether they would receive their monies, uh, whether or not they would have a bed to sleep in by themselves. And uh, as we proceeded to ask them further questions, the uh, story that we picked up from one of the individuals who seemed to be in contact was that they had all been mental patients in the state of California and sometime in early March or April were transported from California uh, in a pickup truck to Spanish Camp, Texas, where they had been held since that time. And according to the statement of a patient that they had been abused, beaten, that their food was meager, that the uh, individuals incarcerated them by uh, putting five or six in, the, in a garage that was locked, where the windows had been darkened, and that they were, had no sanitary conditions other than a pail. Uh, on uh, examination, some of the patients were quite thin, found to be emaciated. One had a large uh, ulcer on his leg. Uh, we found no evidence of recent uh, uh, physical abuse, but we did find evidence of, of uh, malnutrition. Uh, I heard he hit uh, this uh, Alan Van Grove uh -huh. in the face uh, from his screaming and hollering. Uh -huh. And uh, he also uh, uh, kicked uh, this Raymond Lamar and, uh, and, and, caught and got his uh, leg sore again. Uh -huh. and Raymond had a... Word happened. Robert, would you tell us when you came here from California? We came, uh, we all came here from California Easter this year to Lillian Goldberg's place in Spanish Camp, Texas. Uh -huh. and